difference in, in uh, attitudes, I guess, towards the is kind of off the wall. Well, I think that, uh, that's kind of a misconception. I know in both places we have very good players. We, we recruited blue-collar type of guys, and football is important to them. They just were overachievers. It was easy to sit in a meeting with those guys because they're very cerebral. For obvious reasons, but they were, you know, still some of the best players I've ever coached. Does that make, make them easier to coach because maybe they can grasp things easier? Not only can they grasp, but they're really, they're really driven goal oriented. You know, they know what they want early. You know, I mean, up kids, you know, young people are young people, but they, they just collectively, you can't go to those schools unless you have that kind of drive. Thanks, guys. Sure. Yeah. Mentioned that, uh, a few things just lacking in pass rush. What was your take on from that aspect of your play? Overall? Well, I mean, it's like anything you got to watch that film to really hone in on what's happening. We've got an effective quarterback. He did a really nice job. You know, and then their quarterback's very talented, very competitive. And he, you know, he makes plays, he keeps things alive. And so, you know, I give him a lot of credit, but we've got to, you know, we've got to be more effective. There's no question about it. And, and we'll fix those things. I mean, you can fix mistakes. You yeah. can't fix losses. Did you get a balance you expected schematically from them? They did some nice things. I mean, they made some adjustments. They did things they haven't done in other, other games to try to scheme us up. And we, you know, we made some adjustments at halftime. We just got to, you know, we always trying to stay one more step ahead. But they did some nice things. Yeah, there is no question that they had a good plan in place. And we've got, you know, so we've got some things we got to fix. You guys really hemmed them in nicely for a while. But then when that snowball <laughs> effect just sort of starts, how do you begin to try to cut that back down? Well, yeah, yeah. What we try to do is we try to have a guy spying and do the things to help. With certain certain plays, you know, you just try to pick, you know, try to have an extra guy, try to find an extra person that you can assign to helping you with, with leakage. Sure.